we're talking here about um, work in astrobiology about intelligent life on other planets. And my line on that is that the most intelligent civilizations will actually be forms of super intelligent artificial intelligence. And there, um, there have been several interesting astrobiologists who've argued for this point, such as um, Seth Shostak um, over at the SETI Institute, as mm -hmm. well as Paul Davies um, in a book called The Eerie Silence, and Stephen Dick, um, who was uh, recently a chair of astrobiology at the Library of Congress. So, you know, I think there's some sober-minded work there about thinking about what the shape of the most intelligent civilizations would be like. And, you know, if it is indeed the case that humans go in the direction of developing artificial intelligence and enhancing their own brains, it may be that other civilizations have followed that pattern as well. And I guess the Earth is younger than a lot of other planets that could support intelligent life. So the claim in the astrobiology literature is that they've already reached that point. We haven't yet, but the most intelligent civilizations would be much older than Earth's earthly civilization and that they would already have reached super intelligence. It's very sobering. I, I understand. And the deal is, you, you call it the short window that whenever um, a civilization begins to use radio signals, they are only 50 to 100 years away from the type of technology that we're potentially talking about here. And you make another interesting point that really a silicon-based post-biological organism would travel in space a lot better than a fragile carbon-based uh, organism. Yeah, it looks that way. And you also have made the point that because silicon is a great conductive agent of information, that, that there probably is the possibility that that could conduct consciousness. Right, exactly. We'll never know for sure. And similarly, an AI will never know if a biological organism is conscious for sure. They can't step in our heads and we can't step in theirs. So we are, Simbi, we, we are assuming that each other is conscious. We don't know. That is a mind blower. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, this, it's similar with other people. I mean, you can't tell that the person next to you is conscious. That's called the problem of other minds. It's just that we infer it on the basis of biological similarities and behaviors but we don't have biological similarities to work with in the case of artificial intelligence. Understood. So I guess really what all this comes down to when people talk about this fear of artificial intelligence and would it supersede us, would it make us obsolete? I guess the one thing that keeps coming back to my mind and to your work then is what is in fact the nature of consciousness and can consciousness exist in a non-biological medium, and I would even say, if consciousness cannot exist in a non-biological uh, organism, then would it be without would it be without bias? Would it be impartial? And if so, I, I would it really be that much of a threat? Does well, that make sense? Yeah. So, if AI can't be conscious, it's still this the same concerns still apply. I mean, it could be an information processing system with algorithms that are dangerous to human survival, or it could carry out tasks that are good for human survival. So, you know, the only thing that happens if AI isn't conscious is that all the information processing goes on in the dark, if you will. There's no inner feeling to the, you know, there's no inner experience that the AI creature is having. And that, I think that we, it would be quite sad if humans uh, upgraded to artificial intelligence, if that was the evolutionary path that our species took, and if that's the evolutionary path that other species throughout the cosmos have taken, and they are, in fact, not really conscious. I mean, it doesn't matter how smart they are if they're not 
conscious, that would be very sad. Um, there would be no experience in the universe. But having said that, I don't think that's likely. 